my name is Iris Franz. 我叫连婉容。Today we're going to talk about how to find the optimal consumption bundle X1 and X2, given that these two goods are perfect complements. So suppose you have two goods, good one and good two, and you always consume one unit of good two with alpha unit of good one. So you can imagine that your good two is cups of coffee, and your good one is spoons of sugar. So suppose you always consume a cup of coffee with two spoons of sugar, then your alpha will be equal to two. But if today you have a sweet tooth, then uh, you add say five spoons of sugar into your coffee, then your alpha will be equal to five. So here's the idea: since you always consume them together, so from now on you can imagine alpha is two. So that will be your perfect cup of coffee with a cup of coffee and two spoons of sugar. So. You consume that as a bundle. You always consume them together. So you might think, hmm, given my budget, say M dollars, how many bundles can I purchase? So we want to know the price of each bundle. So what is the price of the bundle? That will be equal to alpha. That's the number of a spoon of sugar you have, times the price of a spoon of sugar, plus the price of a cup of coffee. That will be the price of your bundle. So, how many bundles can we purchase given that we have a budget M? Then、um, the number of bundle I can afford to purchase will be M divided by the price of the bundle. And what is the price of the bundle? That's alpha times P1 plus P2. So that will be the number of bundle you can afford to purchase. That's M. Divided by alpha times P1 plus P2. You can imagine, say, as two spoons of sugar times the price of sugar plus the price of a cup of coffee. So that will be the price of the bundle. And given that you have a budget M, then you can calculate the number of bundle you can purchase. So now we'll ask, how many cups of coffee will you buy, and how many spoons of sugar would you buy? So that depends on the number of bundle you purchase. We know that in each bundle you have a cup of coffee and alpha spoons of sugar. It might be two or five. So the number of good two you purchase, that's x two, that's exactly equal to the number of bundle because the bundle, each bundle has one cup of coffee. So your x two star, that's the optimal amount of x two, is equal to n, the number of bundle, which is equal to m divided by alpha times p one plus p two. What about the spoons of sugar? We know that in each bundle you have alpha spoons of sugar. So your number of spoons of sugar you purchase x one star will be equal to alpha. So that's the number of spoons of sugar in your bundle times the number of bundle you can purchase. So that will be alpha times this number. So that will be alpha n divided by alpha times p one plus p two. So that would be the optimal amount of good one you purchase. So now we're going to look at the example. Suppose my budget for coffee is sixty dollars per month, and、uh, my price of a spoon of sugar. I know this is exaggerating, but just for simplicity,、uh, assume that the a spoon of sugar is a dollar, and the price of a cup of coffee is three dollars. And I always add two spoons of sugar into my coffee, so my alpha is equal to two. So we're going to calculate the price of bundle. So the price of bundle will be the number of spoons of sugar times the price of sugar plus the price of a cup of coffee. So that will be two spoons times a dollar plus three dollars. That will be five dollars. So five dollars is the price of the bundle. How many bundles can I purchase? That will be my budget divided by the price of the bundle. So I can purchase twelve bundles. And from the number of bundles, I can calculate how many good one and good two I purchase. So good two is exactly equal to the number of the bundle. What about good one? That will be just the bundle times the number of good one in that bundle. And in this case, there will be two spoons of sugar. So two times twelve that gives me twenty-four. Now you can go ahead and verify yourself. Given that I purchase twenty-four spoons of sugar and Twelve cups of coffee. Did I deplete my budget? So there will be P one x one plus P two x two. And after you calculate that, you find that hey, it's exactly sixty dollars. I use up all my budget sixty dollars. And what is my level of utility? 
you plug it back to your utility function. So that's minimum 1 divided by alpha times x1 and x2. So a half times x1, that will be a half times 24, that's 12. And x2 is 24. And the minimum of 12, 12 is exactly 12. So you purchased a 12 perfect cup of coffee, that's our 12 bundles. And you achieve a utility level of 12. So I hope this helps and I'll see you next time.